So what I'm doing in this video is sharing with you how I created this truss, which is created from a base curve. So we can take any other curve and set this type of design on it. I just created this curve. We'll go here to the script, set this as one curve, plug that in, and now we're able to take any line segment and turn it into a truss. So if you have a surface and a set of base curves, you can apply more than one also. So we can go to multiple curves and it will also take care of it. We can move the way that these curves are created and they are independent of each other. But as you can see, we can take this curve and just move it and the truss will be created everywhere. So let's go in here and let me show you some of the things that we can do with this truss that is uh, very practical for those of you who are wanting to jump into Grasshopper right away. You can probably download the script and use it. Um, so let me share with you how we created this. So what I'll do is I'll start by showing you with this base curve how everything was created. So we created this arc, which is the parametric arc that we're using as the input. Then we create two frames at the beginning and at the end where we can place a polygon so this polygon is the geometry that we use to array so whether it's four the min the lowest one is going to be three and we can change how many subdivisions this way we could also change the truss size so this is going to be the overall diameter or width of it. Here is the script that actually takes the form and it's able to rotate it because as you can see this has a ridge at the top but if we go to change the direction to zero now we have this where it's a lot easier to develop. As we move on then that polygon is after it's rotated or fitting the direction then it's arrayed in one direction throughout the curve and so this allows us to control the subdivisions of the truss and as we move on here we create a few other diagonals for structural support and other wireframes that then get turned into pipes here. So at the end, we have a few different sets. We have the rounded curve. We also have the ability to create the straight sections because sometimes you don't want them to be curved. And here are all of the outputs with the slider of the wireframe one. We can change the outer frame to be a different size and the inner frames the diagonals and the other ones are controlled with a different slider. Of course, we can change, go here to this one and make it just the diagonals all be the same size, or we can do it independently. At the end, you can take all of your curves or all of your solids, and we can go here to a new layer, or you can bake. And we can just move this to the side here and you'll see that now we've basically solidified the design and turned it into a truss that now we could apply materials and we can also render right or develop further so with that being said i did notice that the caps are not round and that is going to make it more difficult to develop and it will make it more difficult for the transition from one truss to the other. So what I'm going to show you now is how you can use this script on one of your projects or just show you an example of how you could use this script by, uh, on your own. And like I mentioned earlier, this will be available for free on my website, competidavid.com for the first week. And then later when I create another video, I'll be posting another script 
And this way you're able to follow along, download the script. And if you're staying up to date, you'll be able to get all of the files for free. But I also have a script store and a vault membership where you can also access all of the other scripts. So with that being said, let's jump into a quick example of how to use this script. So far we have this arc created from this base curve. Well now let's create a surface. So I'll just type in plane here inside of Rhino and create a surface like this. Now to deform this, there are different ways that we can do it. I will use cage edit and rather than use bounding box, I'll use rectangle. Specify the rectangle. The U and V count will go to six for each side. And when you hit enter, you'll have points that we can use to move this. And let's say this is a roof structure that you're creating and you want to create some trusses that support it. Well, first, if the roof is right above it, we can go offset surface as a solid, making sure that it's solid here. Delete it, but I'll go to no because I want to use this surface again. But this time, I'll create contours. I'll type in contour. Start from the center over to this side, and I'll do it every 10 feet. So now these under layer one are going to be the ones that we'll use for our curve input. So I'll go here to curve, set multiple curves. And now we'll plug that into the input. Now it's going to take a little bit to process, but as soon as it does, you will see that it will take care of it. And if that's not the location where we want it, we could move this down. Oh, it's going to be the curves. So we'll take these curves, select objects, and move this down like so until it supports the roof. So some of this stuff, it's going to be a little bit trickier to get that angle to line up. But as you can see, it gets it started. Now, the reason why this causes a little bit of a conflict is because it started from the curve from the center. So we actually need to move it down the distance between the midpoint and this. So that is one of those things that we can adjust for parametrically or we can move this down like so and we can also hide everything here because we don't necessarily have to look at that yet and you can see all of the different trusses now the subdivisions are a little bit too much. So this is where we can go back here. Subdivisions will go to 10. Now it's subdivided it. And if we type in show, now let's go to a different layer, layer two. And I'll go to the outputs, which are these. And I'll do middle click. Bake. And now that it's baked, I'm going to go here to Don't Draw Preview Geometry. And here you can see that it supports it. it. There are some places where it does intersect it, but the idea is that the trusses go along with the surface. And if we wanted to, we can reshape the roof and recontour it. But this shows you an idea of how powerful this, this script can be because it can do many 
so many different surfaces, it, all it takes are curves. So with that being said, I'll make sure to share this with you on my website. And if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. I would suggest that if you're fairly new and you want to understand how this works, go to the site, download it and play with it until you kind of understand how it all plugs in and you can use it for your designs. So thank you very much for being here. This was a fairly quick video showing you an overview of how the script was created. And so you can find this on my site. I think I've said that multiple times uh, for free this first week. But thank you very much for being here. I truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you on the next one.